Fred. Uh, hey, um, uh, hey, Fred. Uh, can I speak to you for a second here? Oh, hello, Radio Mike Kirby. What's up? Well, it's about my radio show. I'm losing a lot of listeners to this guy, Rockstar Kirby. Yeah, I know. He's a lot better than you. Uh, maybe you should find out what's wrong with your show and work on that. It's called Doing Business. Fred, remember what we talked about? What? Don't ever pass up on an opportunity to control something. Think, Fred. What can you do to expand our power in this situation? Oh, I know. Um, barriers to entry. Exactly. Okay. Radio Kirby, how long have you been in business for? Twelve years. And Rockstar Kirby had, has been in business for how long? Two years. Okay, great. Then what we will do is make a rule that if you have been in business for ten years, nothing will happen, but if you've been broadcasting for less than ten years, then you have to do all sorts of crap to get your radio station going. Fees, waiting periods, licenses, approvals, capital requirements, and then we'll say that you don't have to because you are a community fixture and we can trust you with the airwaves. Oh my goodness, thanks a lot. Fascism rocks. Um, line? My line? Yes, your line. Oh, right. <clears throat> Gee, Fred, how do these barriers to entry work? Good question, Radio Kirby. Can I go now? Yeah, sure. Good question, Radio Kirby. Normally what happens is that people all do things and provide value in what it is they do. Each dot will represent money they get for the value they provide. Let's make each person's dot a different color so we can see what's going on. What's happening now is that Radio Kirby is providing the same value that he's always been providing, but Punk Rock Kirby and the Pop Star are now providing more value. And what would happen is that people paying for Radio Kirby will start paying for Punk Rock Kirby and the Pop Star instead. And then the entire market will grow. But what happens when we put in barriers to entry? Here are the barriers to entry, but they're not entirely solid because if we made it impossible for other people to start a radio station, there would be a revolution. So we make little holes for them to get through, kind of like elections. Anyway, the radio market expands and a few people are able to hear Punk Rock Kirby and, star Cur and, the, and the Pop Star, but it's so hard for either of them to start a new radio station that very few get exposed and so Radio Kirby is safe. The demand for his radio grows and he gets another dot, while the other two only grow a little bit. As you can see, there's less growth in the music industry overall because there's less selection and thus less appeal to a wider audience. Radio Kirby, however, grows at the same rate and doesn't risk losing his audience. So for him, this barrier to entry is great. Same thing happens in investment making. Normally, wealth would transfer from Parasol Kirby to Fighter and Regular Kirby if Fighter and Regular Kirby started providing more value. In order to prevent this from happening, Parasol Kirby will contact Fred and lobby for barriers to entry, making it harder for everyone else to start a new bank. Parasol Kirby's profits grow, and everyone else's profits grow only a tiny little bit. Again, this is bad for everyone overall, but it's great for Parasol Kirby. Dreamlandians will of course recognize the growing inequality, and like the stupid sheep they are, will blame it on the free market and the horrors of laissez-faire, just like we told them to in the public schools. In response, I will come to save the day, and I'll tax. But because I want to keep the rich on my side, I will make all sorts of loopholes and make it so that really high incomes don't get taxed. Here you can see the tax zone and the number of dots taxed are as follows. Parasol Kirby 2, Fighter Kirby 2, Normal Kirby 1.1, and Radio Kirby 2. And so protected industries have four of their dots taxed and unprotected industries have 3.1 of their dots taxed. Let's say taxes are 40% all told. Since the protected industries have an additional 0.9 of their dots taxed, this ends up as a 0.36 dot transfer from protected to unprotected industries. This is a great deal for radio and parasol Kirby as they end up paying 1.6 dots in taxes but get 4 dots as a result of the barriers to entry. The rich love this state. And let's not even get into the government services they are receiving. Taxation will never solve the problem because it is not designed to. It is designed to placate the voters into thinking something is actually being done to rectify the palpable inequality that exists as a result of my barriers to entry. 
And there are debates about how much to tax to keep the voters happy. And the whole Democrat-Republican drama is just a fluctuation of this dynamic. Oh, we tax too much. Now the Republicans. Oh, we tax too little. Now the Democrats. The only way to end this madness is not to increase taxation. It is not to appeal to the very same assholes who got you into this mess, but to get rid of them. That is, to get rid of me. Uh, stepping out of character for a second, uh, although I like playing the bad guy, don't run to the lions for safety.